It's this star field. 1,500 metres. On the inside is Boxberger of France wearing number five. Clement, the bearded runner from Scotland, and out in front goes the capped Finn. He usually wears this cycling cap, number four. Pekka Piverinta, 24 years old, who finished eighth in the Munich Olympics in the 3,000 metres steeplechase. And he leads them now at the start of this race with Clement coming up behind him on his shoulder. And then wearing five is Boxberger of France. Number three is Paul Heinz Wellmann of West Germany, who was seventh in the Munich Olympics. He could well be involved here. So it's Clement on the shoulder of the Finn, Pekka Piverenta. And Clement content for the moment to stay there and let the Finn make the pace. And that pace is a slow one. Now this may well suit Frank Clement, who has blistering finish to offer. He is a 1 minute 46 second, 800 meter runner. And that's a little bit sharper, one feels, than Pekka Pavarinta, who's better known for his ability to run 5,000 meters and even 10,000 meters. It does leave the one problem, however, and that is that it has to be good enough to burn off other sprinters. And Clement has sensed this and wisely even though it's dangerously wisely he's had to cut out the pace himself to get rid of other men who may have blistering finishes they've also got to run at a pace which suits him so the scots will enjoy this but it's an intelligent thing for this boy to do 21 years of age and he could come of age in this race in front of his own crowd just over two laps to go in the sun in front of his own crowd and about 20,000 people now beginning to rise to clement and push him on as he leads this field. The Russian is lying second now, Vladimir Pantelai, 27 years old. Clement, of course, who won the World Student Games uh, 1500 metres and in fact beat the Russian into fifth place in that event. Down to the, down the back straight for the second last time and it's still Clement pulling him on with the Russian behind him. And that was a 59 second, 400 meter second lap that uh, Clement injected into that to lift the pace. It doesn't mean that any record is in doubt, but it does mean that some of these other men will have to look to their running and their finishing to stay in contact with this Scott. So they enter the home straight for the next to last time and it's still the bearded Scott, 21 years old, drawing him on, the Russian trailing him, and so is the West German wearing number three, Velman. And it looks very much as though perhaps these three are going to fight out this finish. And there's the bell. And it's Clement by a yard and a half from the Russian and the Russian by a yard from the West German. Clement, Pantelai and then Velman. Velman making an effort behind the Russian in third place. And it looks as though Velman's going to take the Russian on the outside. And he has. So now it's Clement, Velman and Pantelai down the back straight for the last time. And still Clement plugs on in front by a yard. And he's injecting a little more pace now as they come to the final bends. And the West German is challenging. They've dropped the Russian. He's burned off just two men now as they come into the final bend. It's Clement against the West German, Velman. And who's it going to be? And this West German looks strong. A yard behind. They enter the home straight. And still the bearded Scott holds him. But here comes the big challenge. But he's holding him. He's holding him. He's going away from him. And it's Clement with this Scottish crowd rising to him as he crosses the line by five yards, six yards, Clement, Bellman, and then the East German, then the Finn, then the Russian who was completely sold out and bringing up the rear, Boxberger of France. What a fine win by 21-year-old Frank Clement, who had the Crystal Palace roaring him on just a couple of weeks ago, and now he's got Meadowbank Stadium at his feet. This is the man who's come of age this season, Frank Clement, the new find, following a long line.